Hello Royal Beauties! In this video I will be showing you how I acquired this look with Mary Kay's brand new limited edition warm hues eyeshadow palette as well as trying out the brand new lipsticks for the fall and sharing my thoughts. With the all over eyeshadow brush, I am applying the matte color Sienna Skies across the bony part of my eyelid using sweeping and circular motions. That way I'm making sure I'm blending as I go. Then I do the same thing on the other side. Now I am picking up the other matte color, Dream Big Brown, and pressing it into the outer crease of my eyes. That would be the soft or hollow area between the bony part and the eyeball. And I am just focusing on the outer crease or corner. I want depth, so I am dabbing and pressing. I don't want to blend at this point, so no sweeping or rotating motions. That's why I'm using the eye crease brush because it is a short, dense brush that is perfect for packing in a lot of color to add dimension and depth and that's what I want in this area. And now I'm taking a clean blending brush and blending the area where the two colors meet. I am applying the Shimmer Eyeshadow Bronze Horizon by drawing a line tracing the edge of the bony section of my eyelid using a large flat oval tip Morphe brush in the number M167. This brush serves maximum pigment of powder eyeshadows and it's just perfect for creating a cut crease without using concealer so it saves you a step also it gives a very beautiful softer cut crease then I start filling in the area underneath so right now I'm just packing on the color for greater intensity I like to go through with a few layers to help it pop even more. You can control the intensity by just using a couple layers, a single layer, whatever you like. So now I'm doing the same thing on the other side. I like to take my time with this part, making sure that I get a nice, even, rounded shape. So just take your time. I'm also trying to make sure this side is even with the other side. Sometimes I tend to take it a little higher or lower. In this case, I did take it a little higher, but that's okay. It was a very slight error. I could have evened it out with a little foundation. So off camera, I just used my finger as an eraser and then just went back through to give more definition to the line. And here I'm just connecting this line with the other color and filling in the space under the line, just like I did on the other side.
So here I'm applying another shimmer color, Peach Daydream, alongside the Bronze Horizon with a small blending brush by Morphe in the number M506. Using a small blending brush is very crucial because you just want to focus on applying and blending the color in this small space to prevent disrupting the other colors and to provide a nice, smooth, even transition. So I'm just blending using tiny side-to-side -side circular motions. And I promise you that I am picking up more color. <laughs> I'm just not showing that. But I am also blending a lot. I just want to control the application and transition, also the intensity by layering and blending, layering and blending. So now I'm going back with Dream Big Brown because I just want more intensity in the outer corners. And with my tiny blender brush, I'm just going back through to make the two colors more cohesive. Now I want a warm smoked eye look so I'm applying the Sienna Skies with the eye smudger brush on my lower lid right under my lower lashes. And I'm doing the same thing on the other side. And now I'm going through with the Dream Big Brown right up under the Sienna Skies for extra smoke. As I get older, I am loving the idea of using eyeshadow instead of eyeliner for a softer look. I don't wear eyeliner, and when I do, it's to try out a look. Eyeliner on my waterline tend to make my eyes red, so I just take it that my eyeballs weren't meant for eyeliner. It wasn't always like that. I don't know what changed. And right here, I'm just buffing it out with a clean, small blender brush. Following along the shape I already created with the Bronze Horizon eyeshadow, I am applying Golden Possibility Shimmer Eyeshadow in the inner corner crease, creating a very pretty, elegant transition from the Bronze Horizon. This is a short, dense eyeshadow brush that packs on the pigment and fits nicely in the corner. Mary Kay had this brush and the other little fluffy brush I was using in a mini set a while back. It was a special edition or limited edition. I can't remember, but it was a couple years ago. Oh, and I think there was also an eyeliner brush that was included in that set as well. I just love these brushes. If you are wanting more intensity, go for a denser brush. I'm telling you, it's all about the brushes, baby. Here, I'm just trying to fix my eyebrows. For some reason, I keep leaving a gap in this one eyebrow. I don't know what's going on. If you are needing further information on the products used in this video, I will provide links in the description box below. Now 
I'm applying my favorite mascara by Mary Kay on my lower lashes, the Lash Love Fanorama Mascara. I already applied these Bayelian lashes with the Kiss Bond and Seal off camera. I did a video on Foscara lashes a while back. It is the same technique, so check out the video for that. I'll leave the link here. I absolutely love these lashes a whole lot better though. Actually, I think I'll do a separate tutorial on these lashes. They should have their own separate video, I think. Both Lash Love mascaras are perfect for lower lashes because of the size of the brushes, which makes for easy application. So here I just wanted to see the color of Subdued Nude. This is a gel semi-matte lipstick. I love our matte lipsticks because you get that matte look without drying out the lips. I didn't finagle this lipstick in any kind of way. It would make a nice ombre lippy. Maybe that can be another video as well. Y'all, I just love a nude lip. Downtown Brown is back, y'all. I would get so many requests for this lipstick when I first became a beauty consultant. Mary Kay had discontinued it before I came on the scene, but I am so glad they brought it back. So, if you made it this far and you like what you see, and if you're looking for a channel that's dedicated to holistic beauty, mind, body, and spirit, that's dedicated to challenging self-defeating mindsets that stimulates emotional health, spiritual growth, as well as providing tips on juicing, skincare, and makeup, then this is the space for you. Go ahead and click like and subscribe to my channel if you are interested in seeing more videos on these topics. So I am very happy with how this look turned out. It's giving me a very soft, pretty, romantic feel. This fall palette is definitely a must-have. But what do you think? Drop a comment in the comment section. Okay, beauties. Thanks for watching. I look forward to sharing with you on my next video. Love you much. Peace and God bless.